Hey guys and welcome to Politics Snaps. Now you're about to watch a clip from an interview I did with Jamie Barlett, the orphan journalist. He's a really interesting guy. Uh, the, the full interview's 40 minutes can be found on my channel, but I figure that's probably too long for some people. So I've also done some short clips. I hope you enjoy. And if you do, please do like and subscribe. And thanks a lot for your time. I mean, I was very struck by a sentence from your book, Radicals, uh, which is the lesson of history is that today's radicals often become tomorrow's uh, mainstream. I was wondering if any of the, obviously you can follow lots of different um, radical movements in the book and kind of some movements well, on fringe movements basically. Are, are there any of them in particular which you think are becoming mainstream or likely to become mainstream? Other, I guess the five star movement is the oh, obvious yeah. one because it's now in government. Yeah, the five star <laughs> movement was in the, the book yeah, and uh, yeah, so now they're in government yeah. and they were kind of radical when I was spending time with, with them. I suppose that, that sentence like, should almost have been written the other way around which is that, because a lot of radical movements don't go anywhere either they're just yeah. they're evolutionary dead ends um and a more accurate sentence is that a lot of those groups that are mainstream now were once upon a time radical yeah that's a more accurate description I mean, all of them i suppose yeah so. pr pretty much all of them if you go back far enough and so um i'm always sort of taking a bit of a lucky dip here and just choosing yeah. some which i think happen to be interesting some of which i think will become more popular and more influential either by maybe taking over maybe winning elections like in the case of italy or i mean i spent a lot of time following tommy robinson from the former edl leader around and he's become way more popular and successful yeah. even since i wrote that book you know i followed him all over europe and um he's already made a sort of dent in a way that I think people have been surprised by. But also those movements which uh, nudge the mainstream, just sort of influence the bigger parties to shift their position a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's another way that radical movements have an effect. I mean, hardline environmentalism, which a while ago seemed like a completely wacky idea, to me increasingly looks a bit more sensible when you look at where things are heading yeah. and um, so you I mean you just seen how the Conservative Party under David Cameron suddenly was very green so yeah. trying to sell itself as a green party Jeremy Corbyn's Labour Party selling itself as a green party and I mean all the parties pretty much would now say no we care about the environment we want to do something they're not shifting as far as these radical environmentalists that I was hanging out with yeah who want to shut down all the coal mines but they've moved and they've moved partly because there's these radical people talking about it all the time getting people interested in the subject and I think in a way that's a healthier way of doing it you know you you have these fringe groups and they just they just shift opinion a little bit mm -hmm. and we adapt and the mainstream parties adopt their positions co-opt some of their ideas and that's quite a nice natural way that democracies are supposed to work so if you if you're asking me about very specific ones then I would say the next five years we will see I fear we'll see quite a lot of quite hardline anti-tech movements sort of really okay. smashing the machines up yeah. we will see in the next um, 10 or 20 years uh, radical environmentalism becoming more militant because okay. I think there's a tragic in sort of a, tra a tragic dynamic there where it people won't do anything about the environment really until it's too late mm. So militant environmentalists will get more and more hard line and believe that to try shock just people into yeah it. the ends justify the means, um, and then longer further away down the line it, it's going to have to be parties that really get to grips with what technology is doing to society, yeah. and, and I don't know exactly what that's going to look like or how that would split left and right or whether that just completely you know, smashes the left and right dichotomy. 